welcome to the Phone O'Clock News, brought to you in association with Three. Our top story today. It was announced, unannounced, confirmed on Twitter, removed from the Apple website, but now, after this roller coaster ride, the white iPhone 4 is finally here. With no discernible difference except the paint job, Phil Schiller, Apple's senior vice president, said in a press release, We appreciate everyone who has waited patiently whilst we've worked to get every detail right. Hmm. News on the next generation of chips can sometimes be underwhelming, but with Qualcomm's latest promises, the stakes have been raised. The next Snapdragon processors will require 75% less power to operate, deliver console quality gaming, and support 20 megapixel camera technology. Sadly, these processors won't hit devices until 2012. It's come to light that Apple, Google, and Microsoft have all been storing the location information of users' phones. Whilst Apple stores months' worth of data, Google's Android devices only record the last few dozen locations. Microsoft has said that the location histories of Windows Phone 7 devices are not stored on the device itself. The data has been collected in order for a database of locations to be built up, so each mobile can find its map position more quickly and with less battery drain than with GPS alone. For many, though, it's not the fact that the data is being collected, but how safely it's being stored. And finally, the US Army is following the likes of Google and Apple by developing its own app store. The Army Marketplace will launch with 17 Android and 16 iPhone apps and will include a workout app, a Google Earth app and a communications app for connecting to the Army's command post. Sadly, for wannabe soldiers everywhere, the app store won't be open to the public, requiring a password for access. That's it for this week, but join us next week as we bring you more of the best phone news. Until then, good night.